What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. It is Wednesday afternoon, about to get a uh, bicep and tricep workout in. Um, if this looks weird, it's because I'm using a different camera than I normally do. I'm using like GoPro, which is not the best quality camera just because everything's like banked on the edges um, because that's just how the action cam is. But the reason for that is, um, I mentioned in my last video, my camera was starting to break and I think it completely broke. So for now, I'm gonna be using this until I'm able to get real DSLR. So, before we get in the workout, let's go get some protein shake. Alright, so this protein shake is not one that very many people like, including myself, but it's very high in protein, quick to drink, and so, you know, why wouldn't you drink it? So, ingredient number one, believe it or not, is Diet Coke. Ingredient number two, you're gonna get a kick out of this. Ingredient number two, is a single can of tuna. Here's our can of tuna. All right. Yum, yum, yum. The last time that I tried to make this, I about threw up. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking gross. Oh, oh man, it's bad, guys. I don't know why I did this again. The great thing about it is it's straight protein tuna. It has 25 grams. I should have done half a can of Coke. Ugh, it just smells bad. Imagine, imagine the smell of tuna, and imagine the smell of Diet Coke in one. Honestly, that was more of a joke than anything, but now it is time to go back to the gym and work out. All right, look, I'm not one for complaining, but the fact that this camera or the old camera that I was using broke already is super annoying. So what happened to it is the underside of it, it has a place for you to screw in like a tripod, right? And I've had a tripod on it using it pretty much daily for probably f two or three months and then before that I was using it probably once or twice a week for three months before that so really I've only been using it for maybe half a year and the fact that the bottom of it broke and it exposed important parts made the camera not usable you now I could go take it to a camera shop and get it fixed but it doesn't seem like it's worth it I'd rather just upgrade because of one and two anyways um, one thing I don't like about the GoPro is that you can't see what you're recording. Like, even if you were to turn it around, you can't see because there's no screen on the back that shows what's being recorded. So, it's kind of annoying because I have to, you know, try to make sure that I'm in focus, which I don't know if I am or not, or if I'm even in the shot. If I'm like, GoPro is great for, you know, uh, getting action shots, um, taking it, you know, surfing or whatever, but as far as vlogging camera, I, in my opinion, it's not the best. Alright, guys, so we are at the house. Now, that protein shake that I showed you earlier, that's a bad taste in my mouth, I'm not going to lie. But, this is going to leave a good taste in my mouth. This is what we call a barrito. And we have some, what's called boom boom sauce. Not sure what's in it, but it's freaking dang good. Alright guys, so a little weight update, um, currently sitting at around 204, um, you know, getting bigger, getting stronger, eating quite a bit, I'm still eating around 3,300 calories, I haven't really been counting macros that seriously in that like, you know, not as big of a deal for me to hit my macros right now, it's about cutting, I've said that before, but you know, I still, my biggest goal is just to make sure I don't like pig out on anything and to make sure I get protein in. This burrito. Um, there's a gas station in the town that I live in, and these things are freaking good. Uh, oh, this was made this morning. It's freaking soggy. You got it for two bucks though. To uh, see, like, you know, estimate what's in it, and I got, I made a little thing in um, 
my macros app and enter the macros of you know the guesstimation. So that's nice if I you know if I am counting and I want to eat one of these I can just track it. Ooh. It's kind of gross how soggy it is. But. All right. All right, yes, I am wearing blue on maroon, but in my defense, all right, now normally when I make these shakes, um, I put fruit, protein, yogurt, spinach, water, maybe some ice. But today we are out of protein, the good fruit. Normally I put strawberries and the orange fruit. Uh, no, it's not mango. Peaches. And yogurt, just out of them. And also, that's the amount of protein. So today we're going to, we have this whole berry medley. Um, I don't like this stuff just because... There's a bunch of seeds on the raspberries and blackberries and like scratches are thrown like that feeling. Maybe spinach we got. I'm gonna throw some of this birthday cake halo top in. I opened this last week. Never got to it. I just wasn't feeling like eating it. And also today, because I'm feeling, you know, a little festive, we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna throw some apple cider in there. Um, 31 carbs and 8 fluid ounces. Uh, a lot of sugar, but carbs are our friends. Uh, should I put all this in there? I shall. I should. I should have. Alright, so I've heard that uh, the uh, that the ghost blue uh, I think it's blueberry toaster pastry protein is good with smoothies, so ordered some of that. Should be in tomorrow, I believe. So smoothie game will be upgraded tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm gonna record tomorrow, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be done for tonight, but I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so at the gym now I forgot my uh, gym bag which has my pre-workout in it, my post-workout in it, uh, my phone charger, headphones charger. Also, the like, journal that I write down my workouts in, so I don't have that. Um, don't have any pre-workout, which normally wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I feel a little drowsy today, I'm not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna do our best to uh, get this leg workout in. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that I am currently deloading. Um, this will pretty much be the last day of that, just because tomorrow I'm going to Texas. Probably won't lift tomorrow, I think we're going to the state fair. And then Saturday, I probably will work out, but I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing um, in the gym, and so this is pretty much the last like real deloading session, doing legs, I'm um, going to do squats, going to do a 5x5 five five with a deloaded weight, so that's the plan for now, um, normally I do pre-workout, but like I said, I don't have any, so about to get some more of those sets in before we start doing the working 5x5. Five five. Alright, so I said this in the last video, but a big, um, a big thing when deloading is form focus, um, so like right now, I'm only doing 185 on squat, but I'm going to treat it um, as if I'm just focusing on my form, and also I'm going to go slow, all the good stuff. Now you might be, Alex, dude, how do you not know what you're going to hit down in Texas? Well, here's the thing, guys. A lot of times when I travel to uh, different places and I work out, the gyms are different. The equipment in the gyms are different. So it's important to me to figure out what equipment that gym has that my gym doesn't. That way I can utilize it um, and get a chance to, you know, switch things up. Because with limited equipment comes limited uh, exercise capabilities. So when I go somewhere that has more, you know, machines, then I can do more. So like if they have a certain hammer strength back or uh, machine, like a 
hammer strength, flat pull down machine, and my hip back. Um, you know, just things like that. Um, just because there's a lot of equipment. Like if it has a leg press, I'll probably hit legs one day. I, we'll see what happens. But again, like I said, tomorrow we have a plan. That is what time I have to set my alarm for. Flight leaves at 6.30, gotta be there at 5.30, hour drive, that gives me about 45. Gonna make some chicken, and then I have something to do tonight. Um, so, in order to get this up for tomorrow, I need to finish editing it. I got the first, I got yesterday's part edited. So now I just need to edit what I've recorded today. So, I'm gonna do that now. So in order to do that, I need to end the video. But thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, guys, and hit that thumbs up button. If you did enjoy the video, helps me out, helps the video out, and I'd appreciate it. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.